Thanks. Welcome all of you to the next session on this uh, uh, fusion uh, applications actually. And today I learned one new thing that is on vacation rules actually. Fine. Uh, and then I will not demonstrate you. Fine. Plus, don't tell anybody. It is just between you and me that I learned just now only. Okay, we will not go there and then see this now. Go there. So we will not share my screen and then I will not start it. So first, let me demonstrate it in the EBIS basically. So here uh, we will now see uh, what exactly we are used as far as EBIS is concerned. Now, so if you go to setups and then go to organization and then go to the financial options, you can now see that we are using position hierarchy. If the mark is there, it is a position hierarchy. If it is not there, it is a supervisor hierarchy. It is a position hierarchy. Now uh, we will now see uh, what are the what's called uh, the hierarchy we are given now. Fine, go there. Switch responsibility to sysadmin first of all. We go there. Go to sysadmin, and then from there we will now see who is the user name, who is the employee for the user. Now, fine, go there. I'm going to close it. Uh, switch responsibility to system administrator now. You go to security and then go to user and then go to define. And then query the operations user through which I have logged in now and go there. Query the operations user. It is stock mispat, the employee associated with the user. Now we'll now go to sysadmin, go to HRMS now and then have a look at what is the position and then who is the supervisor for this. Or other, uh, we'll now see what is the position for this. Enter and maintain. And then I will now see stock mispat, stock percentage, pat percentage. And then you would have, we will now see what is the position for it. Click on it. And then click on the assignment. You can now see the position. The position is the MM400, materials manager is the position. So now we will now see uh, what is the limit for this position actually. And close it now. We are now seeing the position of this now. And close it now. We will now come back to purchasing. <coughs> we will now see what is the li limit we are given now. Uh, here uh, we will now go there, go to uh, order for setups, and then go to approvals, and then go to the approval assignments, and then query the position. The minimum 400 <clears throat> and then get app. So for the standard purchase order, for the standard purchase order, the approval group is the manager PO demo. So close it and now we'll now go on and have a look at the approval group now. Approval group for the manager PO demo and go there. <clears throat> so it is up to 50,000 rupees. So if it crosses 50,000 rupees, it will now go to the next position of this. So we'll now see who is the next position for this uh, pad stock. Uh, pat, 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 stock mine go there. So she's having a mom 400 medicine manager. So here, I'll now go to the good setups and then go to the purchasing and then go to the document type. So I'll now open up the document type now. So if you see this now, fine, you know, opening up a document type. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm sorry, here it will be there. It will be there. So it's not coming here. I'm going to again go there and open it up. Fine, go there. So set up purchasing document type. Double click on it and then let's open it up. In this one, we'll now go and then see what is the hierarchy we are using it. I go there. Purchase order standard is the one. I'll now click on it now on the document type. So we are using materials hierarchy. Fine. The default hierarchy is materials. So we'll now take a copy of it, we'll now close it, and then see what exactly is there in this. And go there. We'll now switch responsibility to HRMS now. Human resources. You go to work structures, position, and then and go to hierarchy. You go to the hierarchy and then have a look at it now. Fine. Go to query mode and then paste it and then query it now. And go so I know position, query the position of MM400 now. I go there. It is MM400 percentage and enter now. Let me push it down so that what happens? It comes in the bottom now. Fine, click on up. So it comes over here now. So here MM400 is now reporting to whom now? Fine, there are so many employees who are reporting to buyer actually. Fine, go there. So our MM400 also will be there somewhere here now. Fine, go there and see this now. MM400 also will be there <coughs> somewhere. Is there? Fine. So she's also reporting. And there are three holders are there. Fine, go there. <coughs> the three holders. Fine, give a control L. And then give a percentage. You can see what happens. There are three employees. There. So if there are multiple employees in a position, it will now go to the alphabetically first employee. Here, Baker Catherine is the upper level employee. So Baker Catherine is the one. So to whom what happens will be going the approval. We'll now see what is the login for the Baker Catherine now. So if there are multiple employees, whenever she submits, which is beyond 50,000, it will be going to the alphabetically first employee, which is Baker Catherine on the next level, actually, in the higher level. So we'll now see what is the what is called username and password on this one. And what is the been <coughs> over there? I'm going to security and then go to user and then go to define and then go to query mode and then I will now query Baker Catherine. Now. I will now see Baker percentage and then query it now. I will see what the user is. So it's a C Baker and then I welcome as a password and go there. C Baker welcome is the one. So this is the one. So we are not down. So we are not down the next higher position to whom it has to go as well as the limits also we are seeing now. So if you go back and then I go to the purchasing. Now, as of now, what happens? I'm going to make a simple purchase order, which is above 50,000. I will now put one of the supplier. This supplier I used to use for my manufacturing collaboration, actually. I will now put some item over here. Now, fine. 44 percentage. You can see any item is there or not. The 41 is not there as well. I will now use some other item. I will now put J10 percentage. Some item I'm going to put it now. 
So I have and go there. And then here I will now put a quantity which is with amount which is now exceeding uh, what's called even fifty thousand. You click on the shipments. The shipments has got four activities. One is the organization, one is the location, one is the quantity, and then date is required. And all the four are mandatory. If it's now done, the result floating is direct. Okay, man, doesn't matter. Fine, go there, come and let's commit. So I mean, the PO is now created. Fine, go there, come and let's commit. So the PO is created. Now, if we go and then submit for approval, what happens? Since it is above this, it will be going to get the backlink one. Click on approval now. So six eight four three is the document. Fine, click on okay now. It is now submitted for approval. So now close it and then go to the what's called your purchase order summary and then six eight four three. I'm going to make a query now. Six eight four three and then give it a let me make a query now. So click on find. <coughs> so it's not it's showing an in process now. We'll now see to whom it has gone now. Go to inquire and then go to the action stream. So go there. It has been gone to what happens? Uh, it has been forwarded to what happens? Since she don't have any powers, what happens? It has no one to make a catering. Now this girl is now going on a tour now. So during the tour period, she wants to send it to so let us say Smith Jonathan, who is a MFG welcome user actually. So during the tour period, you have to go there. So we are now going to set up the vacation rule for Kethar Bakery. And now see this one. How to set up the vacation rules here now? I'm going to close it now. We'll now go to uh, another browser now because one browser we can have only one now. I'm going to go there. I'll now open up another browser now. Here, go there. So click on next, and then I'll now put another browser in which uh, this Kethar Bakery background is going to log in now. C Baker and then welcome to the one. So go there. You know, going over there now. <clears throat> so I'll now change it to C Baker. And then the welcome is the password now. I go there, click on login now. So once when you log in, we'll now go inside now. I will now click on the notification of the C Baker. I click on the notification of the C Baker. And then there I will now create a vacation rule over here now. I go down. So in the bottom we have the vacation rule of the notification. I click on it, it doesn't create it. I go there, click on create rule now. So when when you created what all you want to forward now? Fine, there are so many options that are available here. PO approval or change workflow route or all that is now. I will not say PO approval. Only for PO approval, I'm going to forward it to the next person, not for other things. Fine, click on next now. And then in against PO approval, I'm going to have all the all the notifications. They're basically a train actually. Fine, this one. The train is now coming up. Fine, go there. So put on this one and then click on next now. In the next one, what happens? I'm going to give an end date also. And they are not putting end date as a 20th now. The end date is coming. I will not give a message now. Fine. Approve all POs during my tour period. <clears throat> during period. But I am unable to give this message in Fusion actually. Fine. Please try to find out on the, uh, if you find out a place where I can give the message. This is a very more appropriate message to the next person to whom she is forwarding it now. I am unable to do where exactly to give the message. I am unable to do so. I go there. So in the reassign, I will now put Smith Jonathan now. Smith underscore Smith comma Joe Smith Jonathan is a MFG user actually. So MFG welcome is the one. This one Smith Jonathan MFG. I am not choosing it. I go there. And again, when I am transferring the notification ownership, it is not working. I don't know why it's so. Only delegation is working. And please uh, educate me on this part also. But uh, how to do this? So my uh, what happens? The vacation rule is not fully set. Frankly, cannot apply. The vacation rule is in work. I go there. Now, what I'm going to do, I'll now go to the main screen and then we'll now create another purchase order. The vacation rule is now created. We'll now create a purchase order. <clears throat> so this time, I will now put the same one, go there, click on the engraver, <clears throat> and then I will now put some other item, J25 percentage. I will now put some other item, go there. I will now go for what happens, uh, 5001. It will be more than 50,000 actually. I go there, go to the shipments, and then I give the rates basically. And another, another thing is, I'm going to find another commit, and then let me submit for the problem. No done. I go there. Click on approval. So six eight four four is the document which is going to be submitted for approval. Click on approval. Click on OK. What happens will be submitted for approval. So we'll now go and then have a look at the purchase order summary and close it now. You go to the purchase order summary and then six eight four four. I'm going to make a query now. Six eight four four. I'm going to give it a So let me query it now here. So in this place, it's an in process now. Fine. Go there. Go to inquire and then go to reaction stream. <clears throat> So you can now see it has gone there and then it has got delegated to Ms. Smith Jonathan with this message. Please approve all POs. This message I'm unable to provide in Fusion actually. Now, uh, what happens? We will now log in as Smith Jonathan now. Right? It has now gone there. It has now gone to Smith Jonathan. It has got delegated over here now. And go there. So let us go there and then log in as Smith Jonathan now. And go there. Go to this place now. So let us now log out of Kether Battery. And then let us now log in as MFG. Welcome now. MFG. And then welcome. And go there. So we are now logging in as MFG welcome, and then you'll be getting a notification. Okay, <clears throat> so you will now go to uh, his notification area now. Uh, here, notification is not there because it will not go to uh, the thing as such. You will not go to the navigator actually. 
fine. We have to bring the notification over here. No? Fine, so that's like fine. Everything is there, but notification is not there. So add to favorites, and then I add the notification over here. Because this uh, is a Chrome browser, it will not go there. So I will not drop down. I will not choose uh, something. Uh, it is not fine. Advanced planning administrator will also be having notification. Otherwise, I will not search for notifications now. Okay, notification, you can make a search now. Thank you, go and see if there any. This thing is available or not. So there are so many notifications are there. <clears throat> Job work and all these things are coming actually, fine, but not the real notification actually. I will not drop down and then choose the advanced planning administrator. Thank you, go see the notification. This now, and go there. Ah, everything is coming. <clears throat> Site home, site management, basically. Site management user. Uh, it's not coming as if we can go there. We will choose the purchasing itself now. Purchasing mission operations. Then click on go now. For the responsibility, there must be some notification actually here. Click on go now. So, and go back one level. <clears throat> Cancel it, but again, you know, see if I go to the home, home area. <clears throat> uh, site management, site home, you know, click on the site home, you know, see what I, where exactly it goes now. So click on the site home now. <clears throat> because the notification has not been added over here now. Because I cannot go into the navigator actually, because uh, uh, the Java will not work in Chrome for me. So we have to go to something else now. Yeah, we have gone to the notification actually. And go that what else now? Fine. Welcome, Smith Jonathan. Uh, my sites, my hierarchies, my classes is not a notification actually. <clears throat> so it goes to some site management actually. And notification is coming in the bottom. Okay, right. Six eight four four has come. Okay, good. So he got the notification. So it has come from uh, Baker Kathri. You will now open it up. Six eight four four has come over here now. Fine, what else? It is including the what's called taxes and duties actually. <clears throat> so he's opening it up now. He goes there and then see this. <clears throat> and then he is going to give a comment also. <clears throat> His comment will be coming. So it will not come over here now. Fine. You know, say uh, uh, it has now it has got a delegated. Please approve all POs during my tour period. This message is also coming for him now. I have to go there. So he is now going to take an action of either approve or see whether. We'll see whether he can add any comment or not here in this place. Yeah, he can add it. Fine. Response note, fine. Okay, so I'm say approve. Okay, approve. He's not putting an employee note, fine. Go there. For, there's not a forward to actually, fine. I'll not see whether this response note comes over here. Not, not forwarding it actually. I'm not going to click on approve now. I click on approve now. Whether this response note goes back on, I'll see. I click on approve. So the notification has been responded back, and then we'll now go to the main system and see this. He has not responded back. We go there, and then he close it, and then Otherwise, you go there and then click on find now. Now it's uh, 6844 is still in in process now. Go there. 6844. And then there's no query now. Go there. So it is in process. Probably he's also not having powers basically. And you go to the inquire and then go to the reaction history. He's not having powers. So he has not done it. He has not taken an approve action now, but it has not gone to anywhere else. Fine. No, it must have gone approved now. Basically. Okay, approved. He hasn't written it. But uh, it has not gone to anybody, even though what happens, I don't know what is the power of him now. Basically, I close it now, close it, close it, and then uh, we'll now open the purchase order summary. <clears throat> so, 6844, and then give it a tab, and then find it out now. We're still saying in process now. Fine, go to inquire and then go to view action stream. <clears throat> he has taken up to action, but even then, what happens, it has not got approved. Why it's so. Uh, be some reason I'm not sure about it why it has not gone in is still in process. It has to be an approval. So we cannot even open it up as long as there's an in process. I know that go to the inquiry and then we will be straight. Someone may have because he has already approved it now. Probably he may not be having powers to approve, but it should show to where it has gone actually. Okay, fine. That doesn't matter. But our main idea is what checking of this uh, what's called your uh, vacation rule actually. Fine. We'll now go and then see in fusion about how the vacation rule is coming up. Let us now log in into the fusion now. Ent underscore emp one now. So we go there and then let us log in. Okay, one second. Now I have to go back and again re log in now. This is Ent underscore emp one. <coughs> this is 
Oracle one two three. So you go there, and then you will know <clears throat> go inside now, and then log in now. So here, uh, what I have did it. I'll go there, and then uh, now set up a simple approval now. I'll go there and show it to you. I set up a simple approval. <clears throat> so it's manage requisition approval. So go to the manage requisition approvals. And then I have set up a simple approver that it has to go to EAP2 as well. And select it and then click on editor rules. I go to the edit rules. And then here on this EN101, what happens? I go on there. And then I have chosen as what it has to go to EMP2 now. Fine. A single approver I have configured now. So that has been done now. Let me remove this automatic approval over here now. Let me disable that now. So that automatically will not show me as EMP2 only. <clears throat> this one only don't go there. So it has that is not removed. Fine. That has been disabled. And then this has to go to EMP2 now. When EMP1 is sending the EMP2, then let us go there. So click on save and then deploy. <clears throat> I'm deploying it now. It's a simple rule. So when you create a requisition, what happens? It will not show that it is not going to be EMP2. <clears throat> click on this now. So the updated rules will be uh, basically enabled here now. It is not deployed and go there. It will now create a purchase requisition for the sum. Go there. It will open up one more tab region in which I will now go on and get a purchase requisition. So I click on the home icon and then I go to the procurement area. I go to the procurement area. <clears throat> and then here I go to the purchase requisitions now. I go to the purchase requisition line and I'm going to begin. So if it's the N10, N10, and then I'll open the item one over here now. And then let me add to the requisition. It's only one quantity one, doesn't matter. And go there. Click on edit and submit. And then if you click on uh, manage approvals, it will not show you that it has to be approved by EMP2 now. It has to be approved by EMP2. And then I have said the notifications also. And so what happens, automatically a notification also going to EMP2. And so from email itself, he can very well uh, perform the approvals basically. So click on manage approvals. It's not going to show you who are going to approve now. So it says that EMP2 has to approve now. Data stage find go there. Click on submit now. It will not go to EMP2. So it's not done. Fine, go there. So uh, in the requisition, what happens? You open it up and then have a look at the spending approval now. Fine. We have a hyperlink below the status. If you click on it, it will not show you where exactly it is gone now. So it's not it's still under built basically. Fine, go there. Click on back and then uh, wait for some time and then afterwards again click on the approval and go there. Be getting it. <clears throat> so it has been marked in blue color. It has gone to EMP2 now. Fine. We'll now go to the mails and I'll go there. In the mails, you'll be getting a mail now, actually. Fine. I'll now go to the app starter now. Fine. Uh, and then click on inbox. We'll be getting it. Fine. Action required for this now. Fine. Go to upload it now. Fine. Go there. You'll now click on this and then you'll take an action. You'll now open it up and then you'll take an action now. Fine. Click on upload now. He will not write, he will not take an action through this now. Fine. So within the square brackets, he'll be writing his comments actually. He'll not is a formatted email, and so he has to write only within the comments actually. Within the comments area, he has to write it now. And go there. He will say, okay. It is up. So he's writing it and then what happens? He will now click on send now by which this message will be going back through the system to the Oracle system actually. It is a formatted email actually. And go there. And now the owner will be getting a message. He's the person who is the owner now. Fine, not perhaps 60 is the owner. And then he will not get a message that what happens is not approved. I'll be getting it. Fine. Wait for this now. Fine. Go there. In this place itself, what happens if you click on them and then come back and then see? You'll be having a tick mark. I click again on the status. Yeah, hyperlink against the pending approval. You can now see that he has approved now. Fine. Now task has been and uh, the start is completed. Fine. He has now put a tick mark and then task has got completed. Fine, it's got approved now. <clears throat> approved task completed is now coming. Fine, click on them now. So this is it. So we are now seeing this now fine. And then the owner will also be getting a notification that is approved now. Now he's the owner. So one one zero one two is now approved. He is now getting a message. The owner of the document is now getting a message that what happens? It has been approved by the with the comments. Whatever he has given the comments also is now being approved. Yes, yes. This can be very well formatted by the technical team actually. Whichever way you want it, you can very well do it. Now we are going to set up vacation rules in Fusion. So now what I will do is I will now go there and now log in as EMP two now. So let me log in as EMP two. And then let us now set up a vacation rule over here now. So I will now log in as a EMP2 now. 
it's en10 underscore emp2 and then the password i'm giving it now if i go there click on login now i'm going to log in now there are two areas where we can give this uh, what's called the supervisors basically in one of the areas i succeeded in the other area i didn't succeed fine we'll go there and see now fine click on the notification area i just made a small r and d here and there i found it and click on the notification area so all the notifications will be coming fine click on the more details and then try whatever they go to the procurement area directly click on this procurement area directly so here what i'm going to do is i will now go to the preferences now fine in the preferences it is there actually and go there so it is there in the preferences actually <clears throat> If you go to the employee region, that will be able to find. If so you click on the employee, so click on the employee, and then click on the preferences. Right? Click on the employee, and then click on the preferences. Go there. It is not there. I go there. In this place, what happens? The vacation rule period is not disabled now. I go there. It's not there. So let me create my own rule instead of filling it up. What happens? Let me create my own rule. I click on main rules, and then here I am going to create my own rule. So here I will now go to the my rules, and then click on plus. <coughs> So click on plus now. So we are now creating our own rule actually. Fine, you're there. I'll not give a name. Fine, you're there. Uh, <clears throat> uh, vacation rule during my tour period. So I'm writing the rule name. Fine, go there. Uh, execute one rule so between these two dates only. Fine, go there. You can even do it. Fine, use as a vacation rule. I'm putting a tick mark over here now. And then execute the rules only between these two days. Information vacation vacation rule period is currently disabled. Actually, you know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, go there. So we have to enable this. Now, fine, go there. I'll not put it down. Fine, go there. You know, saying from 17th to 20th. I'll click on OK now. End date. Click on end date. I'm going to bring it 20th. I'll go there. So we are now given the dates now. And then I'll not use as a vacation rule. I'm enabling it now. Fine, go there. Information vacation period is currently disabled. Okay, we have to enable it. So, oh God, we have to enable this and then we're going to go there. How to enable it actually? Enable vacation period. Vacation, uh, enable vacation period. We'll do it now and go there. I'm doing it now. There's no enabled, disabled now and go there. How to enable it? Come on. Collapse, expand, all through, show on top now. It is not disabled. Uh, I have to give a save as well. No, because now still coming as disabled now. I click on save now. Uh, date not entered invalid. You know, as well as you know, enable a date actually. And go there. I don't know the, my rule now. Go there. Okay, rule name. Use as a vacation rule if you enable it. Uh, okay, I will not give a name now. Execute rule only between these two dates. Information vacation period is now currently disabled. It's not saying, okay, I will not ignore it. I will not see this, what happens now. I go there. So if you use the vacation, you know, remove it and then do it now fine, no save this now. <clears throat> so somewhere uh, there is strong fine, may make it make a small R and D and it's not fine over there. That is not that is getting disabled and then we remove it and enable it. What happens is not coming as a right? Uh I will now say vacation rule during my tour period. I will not put the dates over here now. And I'm not putting this as a vacation rule, I just keep going over there. Okay, I'm okay. And then drop it down and then uh, go on and use it now. Okay, go right. on, okay now. And then there are so many tasks, there find task matching these rules are all tasks. I will not give a task matching this rule. Click on plus now. And then plenty of tasks are available here. Let me choose a task now. <clears throat> as a requisition approval as a task, let me choose it now. So click on plus now. So let me choose the vacation rule as a task now. So I'm going to do it now. The task has to come now. <clears throat> I will not say what happens either reassign to or delegate to one of them. I will not say delegate to. I will not put it now. I go there. I will not put the third employer. I go there. So they get to employ. You know, drop it down and then choose this now. <coughs> I will also use the name is N10 and then click on search now. Oh, sorry, I have to give a search actually. Click on it. So let me put N10 and make a search now. I go there. N10 and I click on search now. I'm now making a search now. I will not choose the third employee now. Fine. Uh, second employee is now uh, delivered from the third employee. I'm putting a third employee over here and then click on OK now. That comes over here now. And then uh, there is no message column at all. We don't have any message column. Click on the message. Maximize this one. There is no message column at all. No message column, message column, no message column is there. So here also what happens, you say this one and then click on drop down and then choose now. 
task type, I will not choose it. No question. Make a task type. So the task type, I will not choose it as what requisition approval now. I will not say rec, and then uh, make a search now. So it's a requisition approval actually. I will not say rec approval. I will choose it now. Okay, okay. There are so many task types that are available here. Fine, go there. Let us now see whether it works or not. Fine. Set the outcome to okay. Fine. Doesn't matter. Delegate to so and so. And you can even set the outcome to either approve or reject. And one of the options you can choose now. Fine. Uh, Regards and task access is determined according to the new assignee rights. Still the thing. Fine. Take no option is used to create exception rules that override the more generic rules. Basically. And all these things you can make a check of it. Fine. Go there. So let me save it. Fine. So I now made a rule. Uh, I now made a rule. Vacation rule during my tour period. Fine. Click on save now. You now see whether it is in vogue or not. Yeah, vacation rule in Mumbai is now come on. Yellow, fine. Upon saving, the rule name is come now. Fine, doesn't matter. Even though this is now showing as a disabled one, but here we have a rule vacation rule during the period. It has to go to EMP3. So now we'll now go on and check whether it works or not. Fine, I'll now go to the original one. And then here, uh, what I will do is <clears throat> I will now click on done and come out of it now. So we'll now create a new requisition now. And go there. We'll now go to the shopping area and then click on the requisition line entry and then let us now create a new requisition now. So in time, <clears throat> go there, item one. And then I will now put the quantity is two now. A different quantity, you know. Go there. And then click on active requisitions, and then this time what I'm going to submit. So from two, it has to hop to three now. And click on edit and submit. And we are unable to give any message. We'll click on manage approvals. And then when you give on manage approvals, it shows only EMP2, but when you submit it, it goes to EMP3 only. But there itself, what happens? It does not show. As, as soon as you submit only, it will not show there also. There. I click on submit. So upon submitting it, what happens? Click on submit now. We made that. What happens is on. So uh, the one zero one three is not an. Oh God, it is an unlucky number. Yeah. Let me see. You click on this hyperlink on the one zero one three. And then now, what happens? We go there. It is now gone. Click on the pending approval now. You will not see whether well, it is now gone. Go click on back. It don't take some time to go there. So click on pending approval. So it's now EMP3. So there it was EMP2. But here in the top, it is not saying it is delegated to EMP3. EMP3. But by whom it is delegated is not showing over there. Uh, it's not showing us. Delegated by EMP2 to EMP3 actually. Delegated by EMP2 to EMP3 is not coming. So EMP3 will be getting a message. Now fine, go there. You'll see the EMP message over you know. here. Oracle.on has one. So 1013, he has to get a message. Fine, go there. Wait for some time. And then we'll be getting a message on this inbox. I just tested it. Fine, go there. So it's not saying delegated now. Previously, when I tested, it was coming as a transfer because what happens? I now use the first one. Now. When I use the first one, it is not coming as a transfer actually. Now, the second one, when I create a rule, what happens? It is not coming as a delegated. Now, he is going to approve it now. I go there. So, it is now what? Delegated actually. Fine. Check on approval now. So, he is now going to do it. Fine. Go there. So, it is not give a comment. Fine. So, he is not writing. Fine. Some comment is not writing. So, click on OK. Send. And then it gets approved, and then the owner will be getting a message. Once upon approval, the owner will be getting a message. So you'll be getting a message on 1013. Fine, wait for it now. Fine, go over here and then have a look at it now. Click on it. So his message also you can see now. Click on done and then come out of it and then go back on level. And then if you refresh it, it will now go to approved status and then the approved status. We cannot monitor it at all. Fine, click on the pending approved status now and have a look at it now. So here you can now see his message also over here now. <coughs> now he has approved with the tick mark and then the task has got completed. And then he has got a camera icon. If you click on the camera icon over here, you can now see the message he has mentioned. Oh God, it's not true. Sure. You can say cheapo, you know, the, the task completed, anything is coming or not. You see. Oh God, it's not true. So what we can do is we can now click on 1013 and then have a look at it. Go there. So in this place, you go to actions and then go to view document history. There you can see this now. Again, what happens is approved. This message is coming over here. In this place, we are able to see it. So this is on the vacation rule on fusion now. But there is one more area where we can give it now, fine. But I couldn't understand. We'll know there we'll now configure it in a different fashion. You go to the home icon. The home icon. That means we'll go there and then configure it in a different fashion here. What happens? I'll now go to about me. In the about me, what happens? You go to go to the my account now. Yeah, about me icon, I go to the my account now. So in the about my icon, my account he is also having a vacation rule as such. If I go there in the bottom, what happens? You can now see that uh, rules and approvals delegated to others. Now, if I click on approval, approvals delegated to others. Now, if I go there, 
and then here now I'll not give a plus now. This time what happens, I'm going to associate something. Fine? Let us now first of all log into EMP2 and then do it now, fine, go there. Or I will now log into EMP3 and then do it now, fine, that's the best thing now, fine, because EMP3 is not having anything now, fine, give a cancer. So let me log out and then log into EMP3 first of all, and then I give it to somebody else, fine, sign off now. <clears throat> so click on confirm now. So let me log into EMP3 and then from there, let me create a delegation group now. We'll now see whether it works or not, fine, go there. So it's the N10, let's go EMP3, I'm logging in now. Oracle one two three. So we we'll log in now. So from here, what I'm going to do is I'll now go there. Go to about. <coughs> fine. Uh, I'll now go to about me. EMP three is now setting up this one. Fine. Go to the my account now. Fine. Go to the, go to the my account. So let me set up his vacation tool as such. Go there. Oh God, he cannot create any. What's called? Okay. If it goes to EMP three, well, yes, it can. It'll do it now. If it goes to EMP three, he's now setting up. Fine. Go there. Go to the. Approval delegation rules. Fine, go there. Click on plus now. And then I will now say rule name. Fine. This is a vacation rule. Rule 2. I will now put it now. Fine, go there. Start date. I will now put end date now. Fine. End date is not mandatory. Click on 20th now. In the category, I drop down. I will now choose the workforce structure. Fine, go there. And then after having chosen this, what happens? We now go there. Click on delegate 2. Fine, go there. I will now so make a search now. Fine. Make a search. This time, what happens? I will now put to somebody else now. Not in this area. Fine. It is a M60 area. I will now put it now. Fine. I will now uh, doing another training also. This one. Fine. Let us say EM60 underscore EMP2. Let me put it on. Click on OK now. And here also, there is no column for messages basically. So if it comes to EMP3, it will now go to EM60 EMP2 actually. Fine. This is what is the vacation rule. Approval is delegated to others actually. Fine. What is. We will now see whether it works or not. Go there. And then afterwards, uh, what happens? I will now give a save now. It is no save. And then here we have one okay, auto provision. Okay, it's all okay. Drop it down. You don't have any other thing as a Click on save. What else to be done now? Fine. <clears throat> we'll now see. This is not working for me actually. I don't know why it's so fine. What is missing on this is not there. So it is not done. So EMP3 to M60 EMP2, it has to go now. Fine. It's not working actually. So click on log out and then log in as the first user now. So click on confirm now, <clears throat> and then let me log in the first user, and then make a change to EMP3 now. Go there. So it's the EM10 underscore EMP1, and then let me log in into the system now. <coughs> EM10 underscore EMP1. So let me log in now, and then let me change the approvals to EMP3 now. Let's talk. Fine. Go there. Click on it. And then make a change to EP3. Fine, click on it, set up and make a difference. Change to EP3. It doesn't log into M60, EMP2. Fine, go there. It is manage percentage, rec percentage, APP percentage. And right now, manage requisition approvals and going on there. So let me modify the approvals as it's now. Fine, click on it and then click on edit rules. Go there. In this area, I will now make a change on this. Fine, go there. So it's not showing you EMP2. Fine, go there. Click on it. Let me change it to EMP2. Fine, go there. Click on edit now. I will now make a change to EMP3 now. It has to go to EMP3 now. Fine, click on OK. It's EMP3. Changed it. And then it has to hop to the next person actually. I need to Click on this now. And this area it's not working. I don't know why it's so. I, I don't know where exactly I'm missing. And something else or so is set up, I think, probably. Or that is only for HCM, maybe. <clears throat> not for uh, procurement, actually. That may be the reason I'm going to go there. Lord us, I go there. And then I'm in this place. And both of them are showing the same thing. I go there. I think this was locked out, actually. Go there. And now you click on this and then I'll go and create whatever is the requisition. <clears throat> go there. Procurement. And then create a requisition. I click on purchase requisition, let me create a requisition. So this time we are not creating a new requisition, then we'll try to what happens send it across the approval section. Go there. It's the intent. Click on add to requisition now. And then click on edit. Now I'm going to submit it. So 
So click on manage approvals and then have a look at it now. It will now show me EMP3 now. From there, what happens? It has to go to N10 EMP3. MP3. From there, it has to go to M60 actually. It will now see whether it goes or not. <clears throat> Here, it will now show only M M10. Uh, rather, N10 EMP3 actually as approver. And then once when you submit it, it has to go to M60 EMP2. If that goes, it's working perfectly now fine. It's not showing EMP3 is okay, fine, good. So let me submit it now. So 1014 is now submitted, whether it is hopping to the next level or not. Go there. So 1014 is now pending approval. Go there. Click on it inside. And then inside only the status is coming outside. If you click on it, it's not coming now. Fine, go there. Click on it. It has to show me now. I want it built actually. It's saying wait, wait, wait. Click on pending approval. <clears throat> go there. Array R, it is not going to only EMP3. Inabade, it is not going there at all. It has to go to M60 EMP2, it's not going there. And let me submit it and then see whether it is going to somebody else or not. Fine, go there. Click on that. It's already gone. EMP3 is already gone. Fine, go there. And then you will not see this area. Go there. So 1014 should have come to me. Fine, go there. So click on it now. Fine, go there. Go there. This one, it go there. It has not come to you. This is each team. It has not gone to M60 at all. <clears throat> My M60 MP2 it has to go there. So <clears throat> let us now approve it now. Let's go there and have a look at it now. Go there. Now see in the comments area. Because all my employees are basically only my own email ID. Fine, go there. Okay, okay, okay. Fine. We're now sending. We now see. Go back and then have a look at it now. It has been approved by whom? Actually, we now see this. Now. So go to this place. And then click on done now. <clears throat> and then click on the pending approvals and then have a look at it now. You see it has gone. So EMP3, a tick mark has to come now as soon as it approves actually. If I click on done now. So click on the pending approval. Go oh, there, tick mark is dead to come. So click on done now. Now the task is completed now. Find N10 EMP3 is approved and not M60 EMP2. Find what is task is completed. Find go there. Click on done now. And then in the actions, what happens? You go to the view document history. It will not show you as approved. Find approved by N10 only actually. Okay, okay, okay. His comment is coming. Not M60. M60 I have given now. Find it on there. Now I want to there. I don't know. Find you just uh, make a study of it. I find how to make it work on this area now. Find that is not known to me. And uh, that may be only for HCM. I'm not sure about it. Fine, go there. Click on it. This one is not exactly working. In the home area. <clears throat> Here, what happens? Uh, we have this. What happens? Your my this thing. Your uh, uh, what's called uh, about me, and then uh, you go to the account. Now. Yeah, you have this now. about, and then uh, what happens? You go to my account. Now. About me, and then my account. We have this, now. but it is not long here now. Only in the EMP3, we have set it on. So this area, I don't know how to make it work actually. In this area, how to make it work. Fine. Please, if you know it, please uh, mail me uh, to nanadadap60 at gmail.com. I will learn from you. Fine. So thanks for your support. And then we'll now continue on the next video actually. Fine. Go there. <clears throat> and I have uploaded a lot of videos over there now. And then what happens? If do subscribe in the bottom and then there will be a bell icon. If you click on it, what happens? It will now become changed. And then you'll be getting a notification on whenever I post a new one now. Fine. Okay. Fine. So thanks for watching this. And then what happens? We'll now see you in the next video. Fine. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.